Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Destiny 2 guide video with me Sherman. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Armor 2.0 system, going over how it works, the different functionalities of it, what you can do with it, and where you can go with it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So what is Armor 2.0? Armor 2.0 is the new armor system for Destiny 2 new light and beyond so with new light we got the armor 2.0 system and it's pretty cool it gives us a lot of new stats to mess with besides our mobility our resilience our recovery and our intellect we also get our besides those three up above we also get discipline intellect and strength and each of these have different things that apply to your character so for example Mobility increases your movement speed and maximum jump height. Resilience increases uh, the amount of damage you can take before dying. This one increases the speed at which you regain lost health. This one decreases the cooldown of your grenades. This one decreases the cooldown of your super. And this one decreases the cooldown of your melee attacks. Now, each piece of gear is numbered. So if you look at the, the gear and not the defense value, the actual total number at the bottom there it says 58 what that means is it's all your stats that are there like the 17 2 7 16 6 and 2 all combined into one now if i go in here and i were to remove this mod just that one and i go back out Oops, and I go back out to my gear here and I go back over it, you're going to see that my actual total value is actually 48. That is very low. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to work towards oh, getting a piece of gear unmodded that's in its 60s or above. This is going to give you higher um, mod capabilities when you get, well not mod capabilities, but stat values when you get to the higher ranks. Now, the place that a lot of that stuff drops is going to be the higher difficulty content in the game, um, which I will go over here in a second. Let me go ahead and put my grenade thing back on. If I can find it, there we go. No substitute for a full magazine. So, just so you guys know, these are the different mod things for, for all this stuff. So, you have a lot of different um, stuff. And it can, it can work out to your benefit in the long run. It just depends on what you use. So, for the different modifications you're planning on using, as you can see. <clears throat> Alright, so, the thing about mods now is each armor type has a certain energy. So, energy is what's needed to put mods into gear. To upgrade your energy level from one to a higher value requires resources. So glimmer, shards, enhancement cores, and two others, um, which I need to go out here to the merchant to show you. Now, you can earn these also in-game by applying content. So the enhancement prisms and the ascendant shards. These can be earned in different events or different things in the game primarily ordeal nightfalls and these are the most challenging group content in the game besides the raids so let me go ahead and, i'm going to grab this because i need it need it for later um but these are how you can get these is by purchasing here or by doing the ordeal um nightfalls and then mods also can be purchased here from completing the dailies and earning the mod components. You can also get mod components and enhancements from Spider on the Tangled Shores, but you do have to own Forsaken in order to get that stuff. Otherwise, it will not let you purchase it. So, the only way that new light players are going to earn mods is by doing daily stuff like doing strikes, doing... Um, Nightfalls, and you can get mods from doing those. Also, from doing raids, as far as I know, there is a way to get mods from at the end chest. So, strikes and such are 
not as not that difficult um these ones are the vanguard strikes are a lot more difficult than doing regular strikes and that's because vanguard strikes do have these negative things applied to you and then there's the ordeal now the ordeal i can't show you because i don't own shadow keep it requires you to own shadow keep right now but ordeal has four levels of difficulty the first one is 750 then it goes to 920 950 and then i think it's 980 and those are the three difficulty tiers or four difficulty tiers of the ordeal the the more difficult the tier the the better rewards you're going to get you're going to get ascendant prisms or sorry the prism enhancement prisms and then then ascendant shards but you can only get ascendant shards from doing the ordeal and the 980 if you are a free player and you do not own access to any of the chapters or sorry the dlcs <laughs> after what comes base the war mine curse of osiris and red war um forsaken and shadow keep are out of the range for you right now don't stress it you can still get to 970 power which puts you in range to do the 960 or 980 um nightfalls the 980 are going to be really challenging but you can work on upgrading your gear to masterwork by doing the 960s and then moving up to 980 uh when you get into the masterwork gear you can also farm nice shooting out there the dailies from him to get your en enhancement cores and also if you get uh, happen to get a masterwork drop you can get an enhancement core from that if you disassemble it or dismantle it. <clears throat> so, but these are going to be your, your more challenging things to get. And that's because this takes 10 enhancement cores and this takes 10 enhancement prisms. So this will be actually easy to get if you want to do it through 960. Because you just do that and repeat it and get enhancement cores every time you complete it. And then you can use those enhancement cores to buy one of these. And then you can upgrade to Masterwork. And the way you upgrade your gear to Masterwork is by increasing your energy level to maximum. Once you get it to rank 10, you. you will get the Masterwork. And when you get it to rank 10 and Masterwork, your Masterwork gear power level actually goes up roughly about 5 to 10 points. So if you have 63, it'll be 73 gear. So this is how you can get up to the 970s in all your your power level and plus your weapons because your weapons will match your gear here. So if all of this is 973, you'll start getting guns and stuff in the 970s. So you can actually upgrade your, your weapons to a higher um, value. Now I do want to show you guys this. I'm only at 914 power level. Um, but I do get plus seven because I did go ahead and buy the season pass for the undying Mainly because I wanted to be able to, to do this and to earn the stuff through the season pass um, That you can only get For having it so like the the These bottom things is what I'm primarily uh, Wanting to get and that's because when you get into the higher stuff you actually get some cosmetics here, so you get the um, Phenotype, Plastic, City, Striders, the Grips, and the Cloak. And these are just cosmetic. These you can put on any piece of gear. But you also get the um, different things like this and the ship, which I'd really like to get. Plus you get some other things, including an Ascended Shard. Um, but I'd really like to get all this stuff because it'd be really cool. And this is a faded engram. Um, yeah, and it contains a new exotic. And you can actually look to see what new exotics they're talking about. So I can get any of these exotics that they show on here. Um, I'd really Stay like to get the Abelot, the, the linear rifle. That would be really nice. Um, or the sword, the Black Talon, because I don't have those. And I don't have the Two-Tailed Fox either. Um... Another thing I want to tell you about being a new light player, if you are a new light player and you're wanting to get geared up, do not use your collections to upgrade your gear 
because it won't give you um, but a total of 41 points. To get the better gear, you have to do the planetary missions or the planetary stuff, like turn-ins, at the different vendors on the planet. So like Mars, Mercury, um, Nessus, Io, or not ne Io, uh, Titan, Earth, and Io. And then each of these sets you can get from there. You can also earn these sets here from the um, uh, Escalation Protocol on Mars. And then you can also earn the um, these sets as well from different things. These are uh, opening legendary engrams from faction rank ups. So the different factions are are basically what's on the different planets not the factions on the station these are the factions of the planet so you can get the dead in cure cure set you can get the road uh, complex suite and the knight errant but each um class has its different armor types and i'm trying to remember the other one i think the icarus drifter is one as well that you can get and then um and that's if you don't own forsaken and you can also get the insight rover stuff from the um from what's her name anna bray so I think I have but if you can you get a full set of this Find stuff out. all these pieces are um well most of them are the setup for 2.0 if it's i believe like these ones these are all 2.0 okay not those ones these ones are all 2.0. No. Well, there is hope for humanity yet. It's gonna say one of the. I know one. One of the armor types. I guessing wrong now. So that one. Is it this one that is the 2.0? No. Well, I guess you have to have more than Forsaken. <laughs> but Armor 2.0 is really cool. It's a lot of fun to mess with. Um, all exotics will have Armor 2.0. So even if you don't have that, um, your exotics will all have Armor 2.0. Another cool thing is remember your badges. Follow your badges and see which things you have unlocked. So as you progress through the base game, the Red War, and through... Osiris and uh, Warmind, you can look and see what what um, exotics you've earned, and then if you buy the Tangled Shores and or the Forsaken DLC, you can see what um, things you can get. You could also get the Black Armory stuff because this is part of the pass, uh, part of the things that you get. So you can also earn anything in the Black Armory, including the armor, which is 2.0, I believe. Um, I would have to get up, actually earn a piece, but I'm pretty sure it is armor 2.0. Um, I know that the Forsaken stuff is all armor 2.0 because I'm actually wearing it like this thing. That wasn't a 2.0. Really? It's a dreaming city. See, I have, I have uh, several Forsaken pieces, because you know data like encrypted data, like and all of them are Armor 2.0. So, and I know I've gotten a few pieces from the merchants that are Armor 2.0. I know the exotics don't have um, mod, mod slots for them; only the the guns do and only select guns. So like if you have the Anna Bray stuff like I do, um, this will not have mod slots, but you can masterwork it. So. But that's uh, pretty much it for the, for the 2.0 system. Um, I would have to, in fact, I will just go ahead and do that. And we'll, we'll, I'll show you guys what I mean um, by this. So we'll go ahead and go to Earth and I will go to the EDZ, and I will get 
um, one of the pieces purchased from the, the merchant here, and we'll see if it is 2.0 or not, if it's an, if I get an armor piece. Um, sometimes getting an armor piece from one of them is very, very challenging. It's probably a lot harder than anything else, so... Now, like I said, I don't have the the war mine, just war mine in there. I do own Forsaken, so I do have access to Forsaken gear and such. <clears throat> Even though I would prefer to use some of the older pieces, the classic sets, um, because I do prefer some of the classic sets over the newer stuff. I think that that semi original D2 sets were really cool looking. Let's go ahead and run over here real quick. So if you go to any of the planetary merchants, and after you reach ni rank 900, you actually open Be up careful. this, and this is where you can turn in your the items you find on the plan different planetary stuff, which you can use to get um, the planetary rewards. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this all the way to max, but I wanna show you guys. So this is what I'll get. I'll get a nine of piece of 913 gear. And as you can see, each of these has different values on them. But you can go into details, and this is actually 2.0 system. Another thing you need to know about mods is if you have just the baseline mods and you don't have any of these kind of mods, um, this is uh, can, can be a problem for a lot of people. So each thing has its own types of mods it can have. Uh, and then you have like different mods like this that you can equip as well. So... But you can also get any of these weapons that they list here. And you also get access to any of this stuff. And this is where you can get some of that really rare stuff like the Insight Rover Grips. Um, which are pretty cool. I actually liked having these when, or having this set before this. Because um, I did run around in a lot of the Warmind stuff prior to the launch of forsaken and even after forsaken i ran around in a lot of this stuff until i got the cade six cloak which is what i i actually wear so but we're gonna go ahead and see what piece what thing we get we're probably gonna get a gun because that's oh i got I actually got that and you can also get mods as well by the way so you can get mods from these guys as well so let's go ahead and take a look at that piece of gear. It is going to be a higher rank. It is a 913. It's not higher than this, which is what I'm going to mod this up to. So what we will do with this is we will go ahead and take a look at this section. As you can see, we can go in here. We can actually upgrade the energy level. We can actually put in the different stuff we want um, if we want that and everything. So right now I do have one arc one energy uh two three i or sorry void i have two void and then i have two inner uh a, or a void and this i'm trying to get a fire chess piece uh that way i can have every energy type on my character and my helmet will always be void because it's part of its set <coughs> Um, and if you guys are wondering why I have all this sidearm stuff, is because I do use a sidearm. I actually use the Kelvin's 18 or 18 Kelvin's. This is from the Mars uh, stuff, so I really like using this. It's a very powerful gun, in my opinion, and I love using sidearms. I also use this sidearm from Osiris because it is also really cool. So. But right now I'm trying to keep my power level up so I get better gear. Another thing that um, to remember is you can get a lot of resources on different planets to help you get the gear that you need by just farming the chests, farming the lost sectors, farming the um, resources on those planets. But make sure you have a ghost shell 
that helps you f farm that. Like, if you look, I have the IO combo detector on my ghost. So when I'm on IO, I actually get resources and caches and up to 30 meters away. So I can find them really easy. So I farm IO like crazy most of the time. Another one that I farm a lot is the um, this one because this one has Scion of Mercury, which enhances your glimmer, gives you this, and then this one allows you to find glimmer and or caches and resources as well. So I farm a lot of Mercury, Mars, um, and such because I do have this one for Hellas Basin uh, scanner. So this allows me to find the resources on Mars. Uh, or find additional resources when I'm, I'm searching Mars. This one increases loot from public events and stuff, and then I get the uh, gunsmith telemetry data on elemental weapon shows, so. <clears throat> but yeah, work on getting your character upgraded in gear first, in your gear level, then worry about getting the gear to the higher values as you progress, because the higher you can get the gear piece, like this one's a 49, this is a 63, but this isn't modded, or this is modded up. So if I take all the mod, like these, mo this mod out, I will actually um, go down in the total from 63. If you watch here, real quick, you'll see it goes down to 53, and I think if I take this one out, it goes down to 52. No, it's just that one. But I like a well-rounded build, and stats can go to a maximum of 100, but in order to do that, you do have to have the higher tier, and you have to have these masterworked. So, another thing that I, was, I have learned is from doing the different events, like if you're doing the Vanguard stuff, and you're wanting to get more powerful gear, you see these little yellow symbols? Those mean, those are uh, things that you can do to get powerful gear. You can do the strikes, you can do the Nightfall Ordeal um, if you have access to the moon. You can do Crucible stuff, Gambit stuff. And then on Earth, there's a lot of things you can do also. So you can do the Vanguard services. Every time you complete bounties through the Vanguard, you earn, uh, have a chance after you get eight. Same thing with all of these. Um, these allow you to unlock powerful gear and this will help you get upgrades really quick another thing is by doing different things in the game you can get purple ingrams which will give you more powerful gear and it's always tier one the only way you can get tier three right now is by doing the vex or okay that's dropped to tier two um that's pinnacle gear that's gonna be really high it might be only through this that you can get the no there was one that they had that was tier four the other day and it it seems to have have, have eluded me so power powerful gear is going to be really important getting powered gear getting your gear level upgraded to a higher power level is always important it's always something you're going to want to work towards um but work towards getting better gear when you reach 950. Don't worry about rushing to get the best gear or modding all your gear up right away until you get to 950. Once you get to 950 gear, then worry about getting the right gear with the right traits or the right um, the right setup. Because like I said, when you buy this gear, so I'm gonna do this again, just so you guys can see. I'm going to buy it again, and this time I got the helmet, which is great. I also got another mod, so this time I got the helmet, and the helmet is going to take me to 913, and it's a 52 piece. So this is a good way to do this, and like I said, the higher the, the total, the better off you are. And it is also set at rank 3, so you don't have to upgrade or put as much into it to keep upgrading it, not when you have to start at level 1, like you do with most other things. So this is a way that you can do that. Um, to upgrade that another thing is is get an exotic Now right now the only way to get exotics is by just doing random stuff in the planet or doing the um, Doing this it has a uh, when you do this on the greater difficulty it has a greater chance of giving you 
a exotic. You can also earn exotics from just doing overland stuff or from the season pass. Um, but off. only if you have the season pass. If you just have the base stuff, it's really going to take you a long time to get up to getting some exotics. I think you can only get one or two with it. Um, I don't remember. I'd have to go all the way back. Yeah, you only get one in the season pass, and you have to be at 70 to get it. But I'm really working towards getting things like the Temporal Cause, because it's a really cool-looking gun. If you haven't seen it, this is it. It's a cool-looking machine gun, and it does have a mod slot, which I'm really, really wanting to get. <laughs> so I can upgrade this to use something really cool and everything. And then, of course, I do have to worry about making it into Masterwork and everything else, so... Also, if you're if you're a new light player, don't stress um, trying to get really good gear or fantastic gear. If you can get up to 270 something in your gear and you get it all maxed out and you get the, the stats and stuff that you want, you know, set up, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't stress it. Like if you move on to other content, if you eventually buy Tangled Shore or the Forsaken or you buy the um, Shadow Keep, that stuff that that you can definitely work on getting you know then but i would work on getting my character still set up to the way i want and then playing out the, the the game the way i want of course um and everything like that and the other thing is is that if you're not too interested in doing the hardcore in game stuff don't really worry about going uh to masterwork gear because you don't need it 250 you'll be fine or 950 you'll be fine to do pretty much everything in the game besides doing what people consider the end game. Like doing the raids, you only need a 750 for some of them. Um, oops. Messes. So like to do the raids, I think is 750. And then it, I believe it goes up to um, higher higher ranks so this is the raid actually or this is the raid right here so this is the leviathan raid and i think it goes up to yeah it's it's just showing 750 unless when you pick one then you pick the difficulty yes and then you have prestige which is 750 so um yeah you don't don't like you said don't stress it and it does these do require six man teams so and these can be challenging. <laughs> and I died. Oh no. I was killed by a creature. No. Uh, Alright, I'll go back to the orbit. So yeah. That's the the armor 2.0 system, and what you're pretty much trying to do is set the character how you want in stats. So, like, if you want increased mobility, you want increased um, resilience, you want increased recovery, you want discipline, uh, intellect, whatever you would want on your character, you're going to want your sets to match that. So, like, this one is discipline, mobility, recovery, intellect, strength. I want to go. I want to get something better. Something more like this. Something that's more well-rounded to my liking. And then the same thing goes with like this. I'm going to go and I go with something a little bit more well-rounded. Not that. And the reason why I say that is because I'm going to want to get a good, well-rounded character setup. So. Because I play mostly solo. Um, I do play in groups. I do strikes. I do the um, nightfalls and the nightfall ordeals. But I, I don't play to be the best or to get to the highest number. I just play to enjoy the game. And I like my character set up very specifically with very specific uh, equipment. This character, I prefer to use the crimson um, most of the time. And then over here, I like to use a um, assault rifle. If I can, if not, I use a scout rifle, and then I'll use something like this. I will use a sidearm and a scout rifle like the Polaris Lance, because I do like Polaris Lance. And this one also gives you Dragonfly, which means I can put a mod on one of my other guns that increases my capabilities with Dragonfly or something like that. 
and it comes out really cool, so... But I have to unlock the Dragonfly uh, Catalyst, so... Um, which I'm still working on. <laughs> but I really do like using this gun, and, along with a lot of other guns in the game. And I, I just have my preferred setup, just like anyone. I'm working also to get Luna, um, which is one of the, the pistols in the game. Or Luminous something or other. It's, it's, you got to do this whole quest line with the Rose. Um, and I forget what, what it's under. Uh, but you do get this quest line. And then also uh, I am working on getting a few others as well. I'm going to have to go on my exotic list here. So I am working on getting this. Is Gun's Burden. I'm working on getting the Ace of Spades. Uh, th not Thorn. But it might be an energy weapon. No. It's a kinetic weapon. This one? No. Even though that would be really cool to get. I would love to get Wish Ender. Um, but I'm definitely working on getting Ace of Spades. Because I do like the uh, way it works. And I love the um, catalyst for it. So. <clears throat> but. Yeah. And I, I know I'm working towards one of these. But it's not in here either. Because kinetic but I would also like to get a Monte Carlo um, chaperone wish or all that stuff and then of course with energy everything else and I think it's right here I think that's why it's not showing up is because it's this one that's blanked out that you can't see um, I would also like to get the Lord of Wolves shotgun it's supposed to be really powerful and yeah. I would like to get all the exotics eventually uh, same thing with the exotic armors I would love to get all of them um, as well I'm working on the hunter stuff right now and a lot of this stuff will just drop at random from different things in the game so <clears throat> and I do have almost all the Titan stuff I think I'm missing like five Oh, a lot more, never mind, because I'm missing all those boots. And then the Warlock stuff has been my greatest uh, fight, because, yeah. I primarily use these anyways. <laughs> but yeah, work on, work on that. Work on getting your, first, your power level up, then work on getting your gear score, your gear with the appropriated values. Sorry, with those appropriated total values and then in the energy uh, thing that you would like and I would suggest trying to have one of each energy type because since mods do have energy based this way you can really maximize how your mods work for each piece of gear so you can get better and better uh, layouts for them and yes I am using the Cade 6 good because it's cool and I was there when he died, and I was not happy. <laughs> so, but that's it for the Armor 2.0 system, guys. I know there was a, there's a lot of information to it. I know that it can be overwhelming, but you, don't rush it. Take your time. Enjoy your journey through the game. Enjoy your journey to 950 power. Then worry about getting everything the way you want it. And yes, it will take a long time, because Tier 1 pieces might upgrade you, like, 1 or 2 points. And it's, it's taken me a while to get here. And I have been playing pretty much every day since um, Sh Shadowkeep dropped or came out. So. But yeah, super excited. Next week, though, guys, I probably won't be doing a lot of videos on Destiny 2. I'll be focusing more on Elder Scrolls until um, the next two weeks, probably. Then I'll start doing some Destiny 2 stuff again. So, But that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, good would greatly appreciate a like. If you guys 
or <laughs> a like. If you guys want to watch other videos by me, you can subscribe. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and this guy might see you in game. Bye.